What's going on, guys? How we doing? Shane, Shane, you there? Oh, I'm here, baby. Oh, let's go. Hey, Dub CDL, thanks for the follow. Noble Spartan, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. You're my boy. My hard, my Fortnite hard carry Noble, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. The Fortnite guy. You looked uh, the hard carry. He's looking pretty insane there for a second, but uh, I was tuned in for a little bit. But, yeah, chart kind of chat kind of going crazy right now. Um. <laughs> Don't tell me the chat's blowing up right now. Yeah, yeah, here it comes. Here, here they come. Well, uh, today, yeah, we, we got a little bit planned for you guys. Um, we're pretty much gonna be talking about the CDL. Uh, they have a, they have a major going on right now, so it started today. Uh, pretty interesting, and um, and yeah, I mean, just should be c good Call of Duty all the way through, and then we've got some news on the amateur scene. There's some some pretty unexpected news that came about with like some of the rosters changing and stuff. And we'll tell you who won the previous cup, uh, in case you didn't know. And then also we'll talk a little bit about, uh, what we've been up to, um, what tournaments we've got going on. And then also, uh, we're thinking about, um, mm -hmm. rolling out a new right. feature, um, for the podcast too. What's going on? Chat's going crazy right now, bro. Dude, Shane Thor Dude, is that's, glowing right that's now. That's gonna make me blush, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, what do you say we get right into it, Shane? Yeah. So we can talk about these first matches. Um, first one was Toronto versus London. Um, Toronto ended up coming out with a three-two victory. Um, they won the map one hard point. London came back and won the S and D. Toronto kind of smoked him in the control. London won another close hard point. And then London kind of had a complete collapse. Map 5 threw a bunch of rounds. And they ended up losing 6-4. Um, it was an unfortunate situation for them because um, Alex had to... He couldn't play. So they had to literally get Zed like the night before and sub him in. And they still almost won. So very unfortunate for them. Would have been cool to see them win. Um, but also glad to see Toronto moving on because I think... It's crazy. They've literally gone game five with so many teams, but they've just yeah. choked. So glad to see them finish this one out. Um, and then the second series was Seattle versus Florida. Um, it looked like it was going to be a back and forth series at first. Um, Florida won map one, Seattle won map two, but then Florida just absolutely smoked them last two maps. Um, Skies went off in the hard point, went on like a 12 kill streak. I think he finished something with like a 3.0 KD. Um, but Florida really just showed that, you know, they're definitely a lot better than, like, a top 10 team, and they'll um, probably continue to move on. So tomorrow the matches will be uh, – it should be L.A. versus L.A., um, Optic versus New York, um, Paris versus Florida, and then Minnesota versus Toronto in, like, a battle of the north. So I guess we can talk about our predictions kind of for those four matches tomorrow. And yeah. Then, uh, yeah, so here we go from there. Just, so if you uh, want to take the first uh, series. Just quick side note, though. Um, just feel bad for Haggy. I mean, the guy is, you know, he finally, into a tough scenario. he finally gets picked up. And, yeah, he's just, I mean, he was, he tweeted about it, too, today. Like, he didn't really have enough time to, like, get ready to go and stuff. And then they, like, found a new fourth and everything. It's, it's just tough for him. I think London's still a good team, but they just, like, their record doesn't really show it, you know. So. Yeah, London, I mean, they've just had so many roster changes. It's tough for them to get to the, you know, get to their sort of peak performance, especially just swapping people in and out. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the league's just so competitive. Like, I definitely think they're the worst team in the league, but it's just unfortunate for them. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what we could do here is we could talk a little bit about the matches that we do know and just say, like, you know, who we think's going to win, uh, who we're favoring and stuff. Um, we can start with the, uh, the battle of Los Angeles and, uh, I yeah, I think I'm going to go with the, uh, the thieves here. I think the thieves have been looking real good recently. I mean, what do you think here, Shane? So, you know, man, big LA, th big LA gorillas fan here. So going to have to take my boy vivid and the gorillas here in a hot take. Um, yeah, going to take the gorillas in this one. Um, see if they can uh, end up playing up against FaZe and taking them in close match as well. So I'm, I'm taking Gorillas in this one. Okay. It's bold. Well, uh, yeah, not I'm, too much justification behind it, but yeah, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm probably about to do the same here. Um, I've been an optic fan for a while, but I'm 
I'm leaning New York on this one just because I'm also a New York fan. I'm a little bit more of a New York fan, so I think New York's gonna upset Optic here. I think New York's been looking really good recently. Uh, I think they 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 lost a close one to the Empire recently too. So yeah. I yeah, think... they threw against the Empire for sure. Yeah, the one thing that really stands out to me here is that the weak link or what used to be the weak link on their team was I think Asim, and he's really shown his worth uh, recently. Uh, so yeah, I think New York has a chance in this one, and I think it's going to be some sort of a 3-2 uh, with hopefully New York coming out on top. Yeah, this will, uh, this is going to be a really close series in my opinion. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I definitely want to pick New York here, but I think yeah, Optic's shown themselves to be very consistent as well. Um, but I think I'm just going to take New York. I think they've been a little bit hotter um, lately. So just going to take New York in this one, but Optic could easily win this, obviously. Yeah, right, right. So, um, so wait, next you one is York? Paris, oh, that's Florida. That's crazy that you picked New York there. What do you mean? I'm a huge Clay fan. Hello. Okay, yeah, the old man. Yeah, you, you gotta love the huge old man. Clay guy. Huge Clay guy. Yeah. Um, next though, we got Paris versus Florida, and I'm honestly gonna take Paris in this one. Yeah. Um, I think this is gonna be a close series too, though. I think both these teams are arguably better than the. Maybe the even the Minnesota Toronto match, um, so it's going to be interesting. But I think Paris is just, you know, they went like game five with Phase. Like they've played a lot of like uh, top teams really close. Um, so honestly, I I just think that Paris, um, I think they're playing the stronger Call of Duty right now. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, Florida Florida could come out and if they're playing like how they played on that raid hard point with Sky, it's going on like a twelve kill streak, three yeah. KD. They're all frying. I mean, Florida could obviously win as well. Um, but I think I'm just going to pick Paris in this one. And honestly, like, looking down this list, I could honestly be going over three right now in these picks. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. I'm picking Paris in this one. I think Florida was really good today. Um, but I also agree. I think Paris is going to win this. Uh, they've just been playing a really good Call of Duty recently. Okay, so we're going to get all our picks wrong. It's all good then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to get the it's... thieves one right, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what do we think? Then, we, we got another battle of the North here coming up. I'm taking, <laughs> I'm taking Toronto in this one. Wow, wow. Even though they've shown very not promising Call of Duty lately, yeah. I think. I mean, I think it's gonna. Get, so this is, I don't know. I want Toronto to win, but at the same time, I feel like if it goes Game Five, I feel like Toronto's just gonna get like they're gonna choke. So I, I, I honestly don't know. I think if Toronto wins, it might have to be a three-one. Um, or something mm -hmm. i don't dude it's just so weird like yeah. they're so bad in game fives it's hard to like reliably pick them but they maybe got over the hump today yeah i know it's a tough team i think I don't know. um i think the rocker again come out on this one honestly big attached guy so uh yeah you know gotta support my man i think he's gonna he's gonna win that yeah so i guess I mean, that's kind of those are kind of the only matches yeah. we can predict for now. But we can predict who we think the winner of the tourney is going to be. Yeah, that's right. Um, you want to go first on this one? Yeah. So I have two different scenarios. Um, I'm just going to say, gen in general, I think that I think Dallas is going to win. But I think that if and New York beats Optic, New York wins. Wow. wow. Yeah. How okay. about that? So you're saying that Dallas is beating Optic. Or do you I think, think Dallas is beating Optic, but if New York beats Optic, I think that New York beats Dallas. Okay. So you yeah. think the winner and then, I, and then I think New York goes on to win. Okay, so this is this is winner's bracket, loser's bracket format, am I right? Yeah, so the teams right now, excluding, like, if you ignore Wednesday, all the Thursday, Friday teams, like, those teams are in, like, winners, like the top teams. So LA, like, the yeah, Gorillas and the Thieves, Optic and New York, and then FaZe and Dallas are the winners teams, and then the teams at the bottom are the losers teams. Yeah, okay, okay. Chat's coming at you a yeah, little bit for that uh, that Toronto-Minnesota prediction. They, they don't think that... uh. Toronto beats yeah, Minnesota. Yeah, I mean, anyway. honestly, I think Minnesota is the better team for sure, but I'm also a Toronto fan, so let's just get yeah. that bias out. <laughs> get that bias out there right now. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I could really see Optic winning this whole thing. 
Um, Bill, dude, Bill Cam's the one. Yes, I he's am. He's coming at you. Yeah. About. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all right. Well, anyway, I think I, am. I think it's between. So, <laughs> for some reason, and I don't know what it is, I don't think Faze is gonna win this. I think it's between Optic, New York, and Dallas. That's just yeah, which I'm is thinking. interesting because they're all like in each other's yeah yeah division bracket. Right? Like they yeah. play in the, you know they oh, play oh, each yeah, other yeah, in, like, yeah. first, in like you know in yeah. winners round three. Um, so that'll definitely be interesting. I mean, yeah, I don't. I think Thieves is pretty good, but again, I don't see them. I mean, I think the only team that has the potential to win from the top side of the bracket is Phase. Or is I again? Yeah, I honestly think Optic, New York, or Dallas could all win it. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, I think it's those four teams. Um, they're kind of like in the running for it just because I think that maybe LA might be a better team than like New York, like overall right now, just based off performance. But I feel like if New York gets hot, like when they're frying, they're like arguably the best team in the game. So yeah, I think that like if New York gets hot, they could easily just smoke everybody. But there's also a scenario where New York just loses to optic and then they're, I think they're just like out of the tournament pretty quickly. Oh, you think so? Wow. Interesting. I feel like they might be able to do Stop something. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to sub if you want. If you want that. Yeah, request you're gonna to have to. Through. I need you to sub if you want that request to come through. Yeah, we're not about handing out free stuff here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, who's this Spencer kid, bro? <laughs> this guy can't even finish reading the contract, bro. All right, so uh, <laughs> <He's described. laughs> he just subbed. All right, well, I guess you gotta do it now. All right, bro. Oh my god, Perfect. And right. uh, that's what you're getting, bro. There you go, Will. Yeah. Give you a little give you a little nostalgia from our last <laughs> journey. Like that. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, so uh let's just uh let's just, you know, clarify a few things up for the viewer here. Uh this is what the winner's bracket's gonna look like. Um, just so you get more of a picture. Um pretty sure it was pretty clear, but um but yeah. Uh and then here is the losers bracket as well. So this is with the matches already completed. As you can see, Florida won uh, and Toronto won. So they go on. And yeah, London and Seattle are already out. Another tough start for Seattle, too, uh, this year. Um, sort of didn't really see that one coming. I thought that they would have a bit of a better team coming into this year, especially with the Persini move. I saw a tweet, uh, which I didn't necessarily agree with, but it's like, oh, these maps are like, too small for Persini to make his long route playmaking moves, but um, I think Persini's just a little bit of a late bloomer in most CODs, and I think that Seattle has some upside in the future, but what do you I think? I honestly, I don't know, dude. I think, I mean, I'm a huge, I'm a pretty big Persini fan, but I don't know, I think Joey Nubsy's just cursed at the end of the day. Yeah, ever yeah. Since, ever since Genji placed top 32 at champs, he's been cursed. Yeah, no, I don't think uh, I don't think their coach is really that. Uh, I, I mean, think... I'm not even saying it's his fault. I'm just saying wherever he goes, it's cursed. Okay, I think they could have a better coach. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, Saucer's right. Like you either have to have Prestini or Looney as a dirty work person, and then have like oh a yeah, slain, that's actually kind of true. Sub. Yeah. It's they basically have two dirty work subs. It's pretty hard. Yeah. To like. I mean, especially just because of how talented, like, the rest of the sub-duos are in the league. Like, it's pretty hard to have those two players on the same team. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely agree with that. So, Will says, if he subs, will you chug your drink? I think yeah, this is old be... news. I responded to oh, this okay, already. okay. This has been dealt with. This Sorry. has been dealt with. I was just going to say a Tier 3 sub needed to happen, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. If he brings a Tier 3 sub, uh, I'm with it. Oh, okay. Right. I have to start sipping a little bit to make that uh, make that chug easier. Okay, so T Nerve says he's bending his car and all these. Positions. Yeah, so we don't have anything to do with that, but um, that's great. <laughs> that's great, actually. So uh, yeah, bet bet it bet at your own discretion, people. We we have heavy biases implemented into these bets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I I would not put money on my own bets. Right. Likewise. Likewise. Like, right. Keep in mind that when I have put money on my bets, I'm over five this year. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Saucer, that is correct, but that was a while ago, so we don't have to resurface that. Anyway, no, um... dude, oh god, <laughs> <laughs> got beef going in the chat. Yeah, bro, everybody gets a bit fucking nervous when the monitor cam's on. 
But uh, anyway, uh, why don't we move on into some uh, some amateur news? What do you think of some amateur news here, Shane? Yeah, so we got the most recent cup. Um, we got Toronto Ultra Academy coming out with the dub, Draza, and they won over Triumph, which is standing in cow. And I honestly, they're playing with Twerk. I, I mean, he's been playing the last few weeks, but I, he's typically been an S&D for like the last couple of years. So kind of crazy to see him coming out here winning cups with like the players he's went in with. Um, yeah. So definitely interesting on that end. And then also Sam Welly and co., a boy Sam Welly coming out getting T three taking down Wester, absolutely love that out yeah, of him and yeah. basically single handedly dismantling the. <laughs> I was scene. just about to say that. Dismantling the. He was scene he was Sam the Welly last did. straw. He was literally the last straw on Wester's back, but um. Yeah, so dude, Chad is ruthless right now, dude. Chad is just going not crazy. even Chad. It's just T nerves, dude. I it's mean, that... T nerves and saucer just going at it. Yeah, I'm honestly with it. Gonna start some own T128 amateur news of our own in here. Yeah, honestly, y'all all stink. No one in this chat's <laughs> ever done anything, so let's just get that out hey, of the guys, way. Hey guys, I'm just saying you better subscribe to me. We got a we, we got a big announcement coming at the end of the stream. You guys are not gonna want to miss it. So make sure you sub now. So you'll benefit from the announcement in the future. You know what I'm saying? Announcement soon to come. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think that um, Triumph came in second. I think that's really good. Um, Sandy, I thought, didn't have a great start to the year, uh, especially recently. And it's good to see that he's kind of, like, back in the uh, spotlight. Not that he was, like, doing bad or, like, terrible or anything. But it's just good to see that he's back in, like, you know, like, the top five, I'd say. Yeah. And um, then my boy Mohawk, too, coming out, T6. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um, and Cruzy Cruz, Cod and Co. Also. Um, oh yes, yeah, that's I mean, right. Cruz and Co. Yeah. That was big. But they've been they've been placing pretty well. But I mean, if you look at the seeds, right? Like sixteen seed one, nine seed came second, eighteen seed came third. There's definitely like a ton of like variation going on at the top right now. For some reason, I thought Built by Gamers was going to do a bit better, but. Um, I mean, it's not like they did bad. They just got T8, you know? And just for the hot takes happening in the chat right now, i definitely say the amateur season for MW was better than Cold War just because there were lands and yeah, hackers weren't everywhere. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Good point. So Pretty pretty objective statement out of Will Saucer. Yeah. So moving on in the amateur news, um, made some other points about this, but uh, but yeah. Basically, what happened was the Western team decided to drop Zapdos. They got dismantled by Sam Welly. Yeah, Sam, that was all because of Sam <laughs> Welly. So they decided to drop Zapdos. But Zapdos owned the Western name, so he's going to have his own Western team. And basically, the old Western became the UT crew by picking up Phantoms, and the rest of the UT crew kind of disbanded. Um, Yeezy, that was just kind of known because Yeezy tweeted on free agent tweet, and uh, we knew that Phantoms just joined uh, the other three guys on Wester. So, yeah, good luck to them. We'll see how they do. Um, I think that UT crew is going to be a pretty nasty team. I think Zapdius, though, has a great mind, and I think that whatever team he's going to be on, they're going to do really well. Uh, and it would be really cool to see Zapdius take out the UT crew in the next cup. Um, do you know It would what... definitely be interesting. And it's not even a cup. It's just uh, open this weekend. A lot more money on the line. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Do you know what the deal is with the um, elite thing these days? Because now that, like, the Western... Elite? Yeah, like, the... Wasn't there, like, that... There was that the so qualifier, the elite right? finished. Okay, NYSL so it already finished. finished first in the last one. And then um, Western actually fin did finish second in the last one. So it's not like they were wit still winning everything. Um, but then the next week or the week after this week, there's going to be another qualifier for, like, stage two of the um, elite. Got you. And, but the top – so I don't know how it works because the top four teams technically stay in, but I don't know if Zaptius keeps it or if um, his three teammates keep the spot. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, yeah. I was just curious about that. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, this was, like, the biggest news, I would say terms of the amateur scene um didn't really see anything else that was too eye-opening but uh but yeah i guess we'll, we'll keep you posted on that if anything else resurfaces um also you can go ahead and check out our fellows over at uh cod zone media uh those guys have been covering the scene really well 
Um, and yeah, we got Burrs, who's the host, and he uh, he does a great job covering it during each uh, Opener Cup. So yeah, definitely check them out. Um, yeah, moving on. We got our news now. Uh, let's talk a little bit about our previous free entry tournament. Uh, single elimination. Uh, you don't have to pay to enter. It's free entry. And uh, yeah, uh, Crooked came out with the win with uh, Fat Eddie, <laughs> Trauma, and Stooky. <laughs> So yeah, congrats to them. They went a hundred bucks. Yeah, big win for them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was. I don't think he's won one of our. Crooked hasn't won one of our turns before, has he? He maybe has. He could have won one more, but I just know that he was always. He's always been like getting up there, so it's like good to see that he uh he won another one. The free entries though, arguably easier than the uh, paid entries. Actually, not really arguably. They just kind of are because you don't really have. Usually in the paid entries, you have, like, some much better teams. You usually find, like, around the T32, T64 range um, that, that enter our paid yeah. tourneys. And then the free entries is kind of like you can find anybody, um, including okay, just, some T64s, 32s. Yo, side note, because t is going crazy in group chat right now, and I see these messages pop up. You're still <laughs> in the chat, bro. You literally won. When you monitor camped, if we didn't make that 1v5 comeback, your career is literally over because you were shitting the sheets. And two, you literally costed me two cups ago. So I don't okay. even want to hear all this shit. You literally got turned on for the L. So I don't even want to hear it. All good. But all this bullshit you're saying in, the ch in this chat is uh, a little sus. So Damn. I'm just going to get that right out of the way somebody, right now. Somebody clip it. Uh, no hate, all love, though. But uh, somebody clip yeah, it. Lo lo love the guy, but like he's going a little crazy right now. Yeah, just because yeah, Will yeah. Saucer got him fired up. But I, I didn't say shit, so I don't know... Uh, I don't know what he's going on about. Okay, well, now the whole world knows that Shane Thor is not a pushover. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just a group chat with me, him, and one other guy, but I'm literally seeing this shit pop up when he's literally <laughs> in the chat and he could just be saying this shit in the chat. So, yeah, I mean, good. well, that's just... I mean, that's just a little bit weak from T-Nerves then. A little bit, a little bit. All good, though. Dasson says you're the biggest pushover ever. You you gonna comment on that or you Dasson, just gonna I'd roll you over like wow. Humpty Dumpty, bro. Oh, I don't even want to hear it. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> oh my god, jeez. You did carry me for like eight, for like I, six months. I think we just I think we gotta keep moving. I think we gotta just keep moving. Da too Dasson, much did, going Dasson on did carry me for six months on COD though, I'll give him that. Okay. Alright, alright. So to give Shane a little bit of comfort and to <laughs> talk more about Shane know, and Dasson. his support, we're gonna go and continue some of uh some of our other news and uh talk about the tourney that shane and speaking actually of these won two goats that are also in the chat Chaco and dasson so look at this they're this, on the screen too yes this was a paid entry tournament uh i believe it was 25 to enter and yes sir and uh yeah so shane ended up winning it that's uh my lovely co-founder over here on the uh, left part of your screens with the salute and then uh, Chaco, Dasson, and Ahud, Ahud the Beast, coming out of the woodworks, coming out of nowhere, teaming with Shane, and they win the tournament. I heard Ahud had a really nice performance there. That was big on them. Uh, good for them. Coming in second are the half underagers, half college students. Which was the that uh, was those were the in them the free agent the champs. Journey. Those were the free agent yeah. champs, and then the four Stooges coming in third below them. Uh, third place is determined based off of uh, win loss in the tournament. So yeah, uh, congrats. And then to honestly, all that. shout out to what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, shout out to Dasson, who's now a two-time COD agent champ as well, and Chalk of the Warrior getting his first COD agent win. That's so, huge. Uh, and who knows? We maybe Chalk of the Warrior. I saw Chalko entered our tourney tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe he could become a two-time champ too. Shane, that's your two-time championship too. Yes, sir. Nice. Me and okay. Dasson are both two-time COD agent champs. And both, it's both Chaco and Ahud losing their COD agent virginity, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, that's what I thought. Ahud, though, love that guy. Um, yeah, you should give me a follow on Twitter. Big fan. I'm going to follow you. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on here. Yeah, I'm not sure he's in chat, but uh, I'm sure he got the message. COD agent is so rich. Yeah, see, Will, I have nothing to say to that. Uh <laughs> I don't know. I, I I wouldn't say that you'd win one of our tourneys if you entered, but you should definitely enter him, man. I mean, definitely should. 
Anyway. Um, Dude, you really just, he really did. He caught you. He caught you for a second. He caught me. I almost self incriminated myself there. That was, that was crazy. Confirmed easy breath. Yeah, okay. All right. Anyway, it's based off I mean, sign up I order. I won't, con- I won't comment on that. <laughs> sign up order. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, moving on here. We got two two things, not necessarily attorneys, coming up of our own. Uh, actually, they are attorneys. Um, I mean, we got a qualifier and an SD attorney. Get your practice in for the cups. Uh, for this S&D tourney coming up this week, uh, it's actually, well, it's an open, so just get your practice in for the open. Um, it's kind of hard to scrim S&D, you don't really want to do it because you're giving away so many strats, really, it's better in a tournament, people are more inclined to, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's coming over, coming up, uh, tomorrow, technically today, because it's past 12 a.m. on the Eastern, cent- Eastern time, um, and then we also got our, uh, Contenders League coming up here, uh, qu- the qualifier, it's the third one. Um, and we're going to have one more qualifier and then probably a last chance qualifier. Uh, and then we're going to kick off our contenders league. Shane, do we have any updates on our masters league and how that is going right now? Yeah. So this is the last week of matches in the masters league. Uh, playoffs will be next week. So stay tuned for that. Nice. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it on that front. Sweet. And, uh, but Bill camps jr. Is asking for some Cornell cod updates. Cornell so, Cod updates. Okay, so we'll give them to him. Yeah, so, so we three out Utica. Oh well, wait, 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 wait. Real the quick, series of our life. Real just, quick, like, real quick. And made me depressed. In but, case yeah, those okay. don't know, Shane and I are the co-captains <laughs> of the Cornell Cod team. Our record now is five and four. We had two. Horrible. <laughs> we are sixth place in our division. Disgraceful. Um, and yeah, we lost a real tough one. Nail biter. Map five. S and D complete raked. <laughs> He's on raid. Hard to fight back to tears on this one, but yeah, we lost uh, to Brock University. Decent team, honestly. If we Absolute played them, clowns. If we played them again, maybe on a different day. Uh, I think it was raining that day in the morning, so it definitely messed me up. But if Vibes we if we played them on a different day, I think we would beat them probably in more of a three one three zero even fashion. Um, I would say we threw the S and Ds. Uh, there's no doubt about that one. We had a tough yeah. hard point map. We had a tough yeah. hard point map, and then before that, um... <laughs> I can't. With this okay, guy, man. Dude. I I just I, I don't know what to say. You made this. You made this guy a moderate. I don't know what to say. Sixth place. Yeah, out of six. No, I'm just kidding. So there's like what is there? Ten? There's twelve. 12, teams. twelve. Okay, so yeah, halfway. Yeah, so finishing. Or we're top six in our division. And if we finish top six, we kind of move on to, like, Division no. 1. Yeah, yeah, okay. For next <laughs> last. split. No, no, we're not dead last. Yeah, we're, we're five and four, and we're in dead last, dude. We're not dead it. last. Um, we on. smoked Utica 3-0, so that was, that was really big. Um, I mean, that was kind of expected, though. And then also on Friday, so we did qualify for the TESPA League, so we're playing our first match for that on Friday. So, yeah, if you guys want to keep up with some updates, you can follow... We were playing our first match on Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday, so... March 6th, I believe. Actually, Saturday. Saturday. Sorry about that. Yes. March 6th. Yes, yeah, Saturday. honestly, Das and I'm of that mentality. Or, you know, at least if you're not 5th, you're last. Because, you know, <laughs> we aren't 5th because we choke. Right. That was um, a major choke, yeah. All good, though. They're fine. still stepping on my neck. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. It's fine. So, yeah, if you want to stay updated with the uh, Cornell Cod season, you can follow me on Twitter at LonelyDoc3, and you can also follow at Cornell Cod. Um, t- the tweets are more live on my Twitter, so I would get definitely sauce me a follow and then Cornell Cod. Uh, but, yeah, we'll keep you posted. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Uh, to <laughs> some- Yo, what was that? You guy just robbed me of my shout-out. It's all good. <laughs> you can follow Shane Thor, too, but... He's the, uh, yeah, also the co-captain. So anyway, um, who's who's leading the Masters League? Our COD agent Masters League. Um, it would be Flames and Co. on Aerial Arise. Okay, that's and a little that, bit expected. The other team that's doing pretty well is Vinny Reaper's team, and then Mauser's team. Okay. Yeah, like Mauser's down a goat in them. That's Those are kind of the three. and then squad. Hypno's team. Mm. Those are like the four first place teams right now, I believe. Wow. Okay. Nice, good on him. No, I didn't. I'm not gonna. I'm, you know, no shade to him. No, I didn't. I didn't really expect that. I don't know who his I other. Three are. I mean, he lost his first. Um, so he lost to. He lost his first match he played, but then he three would uh, Radial's team, uh, this week, which they're a pretty good team. Um, okay. Yeah. And yeah. So honestly, they've been playing pretty well. So good for them. Good for them. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, I mean the Masters League just great form of practice. Uh, good stuff. If you if you want to get in our contenders league, um, it's definitely you know a little bit of a step below the Masters League. But um, if you want to you know win some money, if you think you're good enough, then you should definitely play through the qualifier, qualify, and then win the league. So yeah, good stuff. But, All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty sure uh, that would be it for what we've got to cover. Um, Shane, you got anything, man? I got nothing. Just kind of mind blown at a little beef that transpired today. But you know, each yeah. each new each new day brings surprises. So you know, it's all good. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end the. Wait, we have an announcement. All right. So yeah, basically what we're gonna start doing uh, with this podcast is uh, we're going to allow subscribers on the Twitch channel to come on to the podcast and sort of talk to us. You know, more of like a uh, in in a phone in kind of fashion. Um, Basically, we'll give you give all the subscribers a link, or you can just join our Discord. Uh, but we'll give you a link to the Discord. Um, we'll go ahead and have that set up by next week, and you can join the Discord. If you're a Twitch subscriber, it'll automatically say you're a Twitch subscriber in the Discord, and then you just join our waiting room, and we'll take you guys in one by one, take you on for a little bit of the podcast, sort of have some sort of a conversation, talk about players in the CDL, could talk about the amateur scene, talk about anything you want, Call of Duty wise, and uh, and yeah. Um, should be a really fun time, should provide for some pretty good content for everybody, and, uh, yeah, I mean, basically, that's, that's what we're gonna start doing, that was the, uh, the big announcement here. Um, Shane, what do you have to think about that? Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. So, yeah, um, even if you want to just shout yourself out, you could, uh, just give us a tier one sub on Twitch. Tier one, two, and three would work, and uh, yeah, you can join that waiting room. And we'll get you in for the next podcast. So sweet. Sounds good. Yeah. Other than that, um, that pretty much concludes the podcast for this week, and uh, we will see you next week. We might not have a podcast next week due to our Masters League. Um, we've got uh, playoffs going on there. We're planning on casting most of the matches, so definitely stay tuned for that. It's going to be live on this channel. And, um, yeah, if we don't have the podcast for next week, we will definitely have it for the week after, and we will have the whole Discord set up for all you subs, and, uh, and you'll be able to join that waiting room and get in for um, some time on the stream. So, yeah. Other than that, uh, I'm Lonely Doc 3 also known as Brett O'Connor. This is Shane Thor, also known as Shane Thorsonson. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Peace.